What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Today, we're going to go through a deep dive of how we can use stable diffusion to create high quality, realistic fashion and clothing. So I have used this technique to making many such fashion and clothing changes in photographs that I have taken over the past few weeks. And now I'm going to give all that knowledge to you guys. Now, before you get into the concept of fashion and clothing, you have to know some terms and some keywords regarding fashion and clothing. For example, there is Gothic style, there is Victorian style, there is steampunk and cyberpunk style. So we need to know these keywords. And today I'm going to share with you the exact keywords that you need to generate what kind of clothing in what situation. And this particular technique you can use for any kind of photographs. This photograph can be a real photograph that you have taken of yourself or your friends or models. Or this photograph can also be uh, AI generated photograph as well. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to use a real photograph just to show you how powerful artificial intelligence is and how it can take over the fashion industry in just a few, few years or maybe months. So today, let's get down to the tutorial and together let's make some epic clothing and fashion. But before we proceed, if you want to check my work uh, and the clothing changes that I've made using stable diffusion, you can follow me on my Instagram. It goes by the name Lights Camera AI. And now, without any further ado, let's get down to business. So this is the photograph that we're going to use today. And I've chosen this photograph because it has a very complex pose. So the first step is going to be going to stable diffusion and painting out the part of the body which we want to change the outfit for. And now in this text, we're going to input the gothic style first. So we write exactly that gothic dress. And yeah, we add some extra sauce like evil queen. And, and this is the enhancer prompt that makes the pictures even more high quality. So these are going to be same for all the images. And now follow the steps that I'm using sampling steps, steps 30, which means more quality. And we want a batch of two and we will choose between them. And in this width and height, you have to make sure the aspect ratio matches that of the image. The aspect ratio, yeah. And now in the control net section, we use open pose because we want stable diffusion to understand which pose the character is standing in so that it can generate the outfit. So you can see this is running. Yeah, after five minutes, the AI has understood the pose the character was standing in. And based on the pose, it has generated gothic style dress. You can check them out. These two are the dresses. I like both of them. But if I have to use it, I might use the second one. Now, I'm not even going into the idea of, of upscaling. Just look at the dresses that have been generated using AI. Now let's go to the Victorian era and let's generate some Victorian style dresses. So I've written over there Victorian style outfit. And then the rest of the enhancers are exactly the same. The settings that I have used before it's also going to be the same. Yeah, uh, switch on control net. Don't forget that. Now I'm generating the uh, outfit. And this is the command prompt for stable diffusion. This is nothing. You don't have to worry about it. Once you install stable diffusion, you will get it. So you can see the generation of the outfit taking place from blur. So what stable diffusion does, it generates the image from noise or blur. It tries to think and come up with an image based on the text from noise or blur. So, okay, we give it time to generate and see the pose is there and we have two Victorian style dresses. Uh, yeah, this one and the first one, I think the first one is more, first one is better. And once we upscale it, it's gonna be far better. But see, that's a Victorian style dress. Now, I believe we will move on to the next outfit, which is going to be, let me think, let me think, let me think. Yeah, cyberpunk. Let's use cyberpunk. So cyberpunk is a sci-fi genre type outfit. You won't find people wearing cyberpunk dress and walking outside, but you can find cyberpunk style fashion in high fashion industries. So we put cyberpunk style outfit, metal parts and many pockets it's just to make sure just cyber, cyberpunk style would have also done. But let's see what it generates. Yeah, it gener it, you can see it. it. It's generating a sci-fi outfit, man. This looks good. It, it is generating a cyberpunk outfit to be more precise. Look, th there is a futuristic aspect and touch to it. You can check the outfits. Damn, these look amazing. Look at the quality. And we, are, we have not even upscaled it. And because we have written metal parts, you can, we, we can see the metal parts over there. And uh, okay, okay, I'm happy with this. But now let's try something even more bizarre. What, what, what kind of new outfit should we try now? 
let me think mm, yeah we have written those many metal parts metal pockets ah uh, yeah steampunk the brother of cyberpunk is going to be steampunk steampunk is basically cyberpunk but in but but from the past so we write steampunk and there are few keywords few keywords that are associated with steampunk that is bronze and gear because the metal back then and and also leather yes because the metal for cyberpunk uh, for steampunk genre is mostly bronze and there are a lot of gears so we generate let's see let's see what we can generate now we generate the steampunk genre outfit okay 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 all right yeah we can see we can see that the outfit is taking shape man this is the part i like the most look at the outfits look at the damn cool steampunk outfits and we haven't even upscaled the image yet so you can see that whatever you imagine you can get it done this is the next level fashion guys this is the next level of fashion industry so we have a steampunk outfit you you can see those high quality and high details it happened due to the intricate details up there okay okay right now we're going to try something insane we're going to try japanese samurai yeah japanese samurai let's see what 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 comes out of it i mean like this is going to be insane on the negative prompts we write weapons and swords and also um knife because in the image we don't want these to come up and i have a feeling that using samurai and armor and japanese these things might just come up so let me generate let's see what we find okay okay so these are these are the, these are the, these are the two images and as we can see they are samurai style armor they look a bit sci-fi we should have written sci-fi in the negative prompt as well but you see there are such high details on this one you know why this is because th these high details that you see it can be eliminated as well because we have written high intricate detailing that is the reason why we are getting the high details over here so your prompt decides your image so now let's try something else let's try sci-fi superhero armor yeah exactly you see the halo armors the mass effect armors let's generate some sci-fi armor sci-fi superhero armor and uh, i don't think we have to write anything else we can write metal we if you want the metal if we want the armor to be made of metal and uh, yeah we remove those negative prompts that we have used earlier we generate and i think we are going to see magic just now all right look at the sauce look at the juice man it's just the the image is taking shape the outfit is taking shape and all these outfits look hyper realistic look at this man look at this the armor the sci-fi armor looks so damn good it it looks straight out of a marvel movie straight out of wakanda forever movie i don't know man i, I i'm just going nuts over here and uh, yeah that's about it and uh, guys if you want to see more such fashion you can suggest me what type of clothing you want to see on the comments i'll get back to you